there everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic back with a very exciting news update today talking about a bunch of new toys on the way from Mattel. Uh, we've had sneak peeks here and there but we're finally getting a pretty decent look today at a bunch of new figures headed our way. But the big question remains is are these figures part of an all new toy line like Dino Escape that we've talked about here on the channel before due for 2021 or are they an extension of this year's existing toy line which is Primal Attack? Uh, there are a couple things about the photos, uh, kind of how the figure look and a couple other things that are leading us to believe that these are probably some sort of extension of Primal Attack heading into the new year, which is kind of bizarre, but also sort of expected with Jurassic World Dominion, the movie getting delayed. Um, they kind of maybe had to shift some things around. So let's go ahead and dive right in and start talking about the toys. The first assortment we're going to talk about is the Snap Squad. Six new figures coming out for that. The first one is this Velociraptor. Uh, we have had a few Velociraptor Snap Squads so far. Uh, blue the rest of the raptor squad etc um, blue repainted for camp Cretaceous, but this raptor uh, is probably a tiger velociraptor from lost world we know that because mattel has released uh, the legacy uh like tiger raptor mask role-playing mask that has the exact same eye pattern as this little figure so looks like we're getting a proper tiger raptor in the snap squad line uh, another figure coming out is the spinosaurus a repaint a very interesting repaint too i love the kind of desert paint scheme here um, also kind of notable is the eye it's not the normal yellow eye so um, that's kind of interesting i wonder if that means that this is based on some other design maybe from camp cretaceous maybe from dominion we don't really know but spinosaurus has been a very popular snap squad figure pretty hard to find so makes sense they would be releasing yet another snap squad uh, repaint of this popular species Next up, we have Baryonyx, another repaint of a Snap Squad we already have. We had the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom version of Baryonyx, but this one clearly is inspired from by Camp Cretaceous. Uh, as we know, Baryonyx will be making an appearance in Season 2 of Camp Cretaceous. Uh, there will be three species, or sorry, three versions with three different names. We already have a Mattel toy for one of them, Grimm. There's also Limbo and Chaos. So this is probably one of those named character Baryonyx coming to the Snap Squad line. So exciting stuff. Uh, the next Snap Squad figure is a repainted Carnotaurus. This would be our third Carnotaurus in the Snap Squad line. I really like this paint coloration, though. It's really flashy. I'm not really sure what it's based off of. It's clearly, um, you know, not from Camp Cretaceous or really the movie, just sort of a fun new paint coloration. It almost looks like he's got a little bit of battle damage on his snout, maybe. So um, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a different version of Toro or what. Time will tell, but I really do like this paint job. It's very vibrant kind of looks like he's wearing eyeliner too but uh a, a new a cool new deco we also have bumpy again now this one i'm hesitant to call an all new like repainted version of bumpy it certainly looks like it's a more realistic take on bumpy um versus what we have doesn't look as metallic even but these are all very early photos so this very well could be just um kind of a stand-in photo for what would it probably be just another re-release of the metallic bumpy we already have or maybe we're getting one that's not metallic and that's a little more um, realistically colored we'll see but uh, for now we're calling this a new figure and then lastly we have the triceratops We've actually got a, just got the Triceratops in the last wave, the first Snap Squad version of it. This one has a much more saturated paint scheme, doesn't appear to be metallic either. Certainly not from the movies either necessarily, so just sort of a new wild paint application for Snap Squad Triceratops. But it's a uh, species we only have just gotten in Snap Squad, so happy to add uh, a variant already because it is the only herbivore besides Bumpy that we get in the Snap Squad line. Uh, next up, let's talk about attack pack figures some of this will be review but some of this will be all new uh review meaning trudon we've known about trudon for a while trudon has actually shown up in quite a few places around the world not here in the u.s though um, but it's already coming out it's clearly an attack pack figure for primal attack uh sort of the primal attack subline so um it's been revealed with these other figures which makes me think these other figures are similarly going to be primal attack branded attack pack figures and not some new dino escape wild pack sort of new version of a figure i think we're going to be getting uh these next few figures as part of attack pack same with gallimimus uh we've seen this one come out in a couple places around the world uh this gallimimus is so cool though i love talking about it because it has those classic 
Nick Kenner colors. And this one we do know is in Camp Cretaceous packaging as well. A tack pack figure with a ta with Camp Cretaceous branding, meaning that the Gallimimus is probably headed to the Netflix show. Um, maybe with this paint application, maybe not, but pretty exciting um, just to get this kind of homage to Kenner um, as part of Mattel's toy line. A third figure I want to talk about that's not necessarily new but was revealed with these others is the Dimorphodon. We've gotten so many Dimorphodons from Mattel at this point, I've lost count, but these last couple have had some really wild paint jobs that I actually really appreciate. This one included. Um, it's just got some crazy underwing striping going on. Um, also released under the Camp Cretaceous banner, second Camp Cretaceous Dimorphodon figure that we're getting. Even though we have yet to see it in the show, um, perhaps it's on the way. But those are the figures we knew about, but I'll Alongside those, two other figures are revealed, and that is a repaint of Colaris, which I love this base figure that they came out with. It's got an excellent sculpt, full of detail, and I really like that first version that came out a couple of years ago. Or sorry, it must have been Dino Rivals, I think. Uh, my, my memory's failing me, but we are getting a new version finally. Um, a, kind of that desert feel that the, that the Snap Squad Spinosaurus had too, which is interesting. Um, but here it is. Not a lot of paint variation going. Uh, like the nails are clearly unpainted. I don't love that, but I love a new figure. Um, another new figure heading our way is the uh, repainted Proceratosaurus. I think this is the maybe fourth version of this figure we've gotten. As far as repaints go, we've got a few attack packs as well as... A battle damage version so this is a what well, looks to be another attack back version but it's worth noting this paint coloration is very much like the styracosaurus which we know sometimes mattel does sort of reuse paint applications on different species so uh, this one to me really feels like it uh is, is very close with Styracosaurus. Um, another uh, assortment we've got, we're getting for Savage Strike is two Velociraptors. I have talked about these in another video on the channel, but they were revealed alongside these other figures with new poses. This is that Tiger Raptor that everyone's pretty excited about from hopefully being based off the Lost World with that awesome Savage Strike uh, like claw action Raptor that I think everybody really likes that mold. So I'm glad it's getting reused for hopefully this, this proper Lost World Tiger Raptor. So we'll just have to wait and see if that's coming as part of Legacy Collection or just sort of the uh, regular toy line. We also have a Another Velociraptor, the Jumping Raptor. Um, you know, the colors here are pretty wild, but even from the... Um you know, the first look we had at this figure, this even looks a little bit more toned down and less saturated, but I'm still really digging these colors. I think they're just, um, I love the pattern too. I mean, the pattern with the colors is just a really nice match. And it's just something very wild and very, um, you know, just very loud, but uh, not so much so that I think it looks ridiculous, like a purple Dilophosaurus or something like that. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, but the next two figures are really exciting, and those are uh, repaints of Cynoceratops and Cryolophosaurus, which I'll get into. Uh, Cryolophosaurus just looks awesome. I, I think that might even be gold on its back. It's hard to tell, but I really like this paint coloration. I love the, uh, the, the use of sort of contrast with the very dark base color. Um, but then having that like nose sort of crest um, really popping off of that. So uh, Cryolophosaurus, the second version we're getting of this figure, um, but a really, really nice paint application on this one. Um, it looks just uh, really unique and something different to the Mattel toy line. Um, that's followed up by Cynoceratops, which is a very popular figure. We just got this past year. They're already revisiting it for a new paint application. Um, I do like this. I do like the darker, darker color, but the eye kind of throws me off because the eye on the Cynoceratops we have is already Pretty perfect with its sort of black orb so kind of giving it a bright iris is a little weird um, but we'll kind of wait to see what the final figure actually looks like but those are sort of the two big bigger size figures that we now have eyes on as part of the next wave of Mattel figures um, and that's about all we have for today I mean I'm still waiting on you know so much uh, I guess clarification on these reveals if they're part of Primal Attack what are they for are they for Dino Escape what's going on with all these toys but at least we get to know what they look like and start getting excited about them as they probably are right around the corner um, in late winter and early spring. So that's all I have for today. Again, I'm Tim the Collect Jurassic, and thanks for watching.